Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So what I got back here is the motor out of my Chevelle, which is a Dart Block 400. And uh, I was under the impression that it was the 400 with the 350 mains. However, that was not the case. And I ordered a scat crank with those specifications, you know, for a 400, but with 350 mains. So I get the, um, I, I end up getting the, the crank in and everything. And I end up with this, you know, I'm like, holy crap. That is a 350 main, uh, bearing. So I have 400 mains, right? So then I did some reading and they make these spacers, okay? These are uh, made by King. These are the ones that I got here. And that's the part number. Oh, upside down there. Okay, MB5224AM. All right, so this is to go from uh, 350 mains to a 400. Okay, so all they do is they get an oversized bearing or spacer and these they claim these to be reusable so uh, it's March 27th right now so I'm gonna put this motor together and I'm making this video specifically for the reason that there's no updated videos or updated forums really on these spacers uh, so I'm going to test them out on my engine because I really don't want to spend another $800 on another forge crank. So, yeah. So the way these go is you get the spacer first. Hang on. You get the spacer first and you line it up, you know, just as you would the other ones. And then you slide it in, right? Just like you would your other your other bearings so these are just taking up the room and you know and then you just set your other ones right on top of that and they got like a notch they got a notch right there to mate with the regular 350 uh, mains and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the question what part number these guys are uh, are they on this side MB, what is it? Well, you know what? Here's the box. MS909H. Just in case somebody's going to ask me the question of what bearings I'm using, well, those are the ones that I'm using. So, yeah, you just set this guy on top of that, right? And um, I'm not going to put it on right now. But I'm going to attach the ending of this video with the updated version. So, I'm going to wait a couple of months. And then I'm going to make another video that I'm going to attach to this. So keep going, you know, watch the end of this video and I'll tell you an updated uh, discussion or whatever. I'll talk about it and see if I've had any issues after doing this. So stay tuned. I forgot to mention that if you're looking at the pictures of these spacers, uh, the, the rear one, you know, you would expect it to look like this. The thrust, the thrust bearing, you would expect it to look like this for the spacer, but it's not. All it's doing is it's, it's raising up the bore size, which all it has to do is raise up the flat part. So it's just a flat section of it. It doesn't have the lip that hugs the actual thrust, you know, portion of it. So, yeah, just keep that in mind, too, whenever you're looking for them. Don't freak out if you don't see that. Okay, so as promised, this is uh, the second section of the video, basically the update on how the, the rebuild went to see if the, the spacers are working out good, and they are. Picked up my little girl from school. Yeah, picked her up from school, so we're pretty much dailying the Chevelle ever since. I did the rebuild, it's holding up good. Um, those, those spacers, they're, they're doing just fine. I've ragged on the car a couple of times. 
you know we'll give you a little quick pull right now you know we're we're in town so i can't really do much but you know so it's got it's got its pull and and i'm not worried about those spacers giving out at all so yeah we're we're good and <laughs> oh my baby missing two teeth <laughs> and she embraces it too <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's it for the video. I definitely recommend them. Definitely recommend those uh, those uh, spacers that they sell in case, of course, you did the mistake and ordered the wrong crankshaft. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching. And once again, I recommend those things. They're good. Okay, if you subscribe to our channel, and if you like it, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to our channel. If you like it, uh, hit the like button, maybe even hit the bell and watch our future videos. Thank you. And watch the car videos. Yeah, watch the car videos. Until next time, guys. Bye.